Hey there everybody, Eric from Outer Limitless coming at you today with another video. Now in today's video we're going to take a look at some TFK T17s that in a prior video I kind of hinted that I had a little bit of a special project, well today is the release of that project. And in some of my non-knife related videos I've covered a number of Kuyu hunting apparel and gear a brand whose products i have come to greatly enjoy and so in today's video we get to combine all of this together bringing the tfk collection the build love of knives love of incredible outerwear all together to culminate into this voodoo kuyu project now when i say voodoo kuyu well bottom line is you saw me sort of hinting at you know how i was not ready to quite give the details on this project yet well at this point we've created i'd say a package that is pretty interesting where it's going to tie my love of the kuyu gear together with my knives my knife design and build but with that said, I have a whole bunch to show you and a whole bunch to talk about. And if you're interested in seeing a little bit more about what I'm about to get into, do me a favor, stay tuned. So yes, my TFK knife build has now taken on a project. And I thought this would be interesting. Again, I'm a big fan of Kuyu outerwear. It's certainly high performance, about as high performance as you can get. And with the amount of attention and detail that I am putting into this TFK T17 project, well, I thought really combining these two efforts into one made a lot of sense. Now, here's the first thing you'll see. You'll notice that I have a number of knives out here on the table. I'm going to show them to you in great detail so that you can understand the full lineup. And I also have officially licensed Kuyu Kydex made by Extreme Edge Custom Kydex. So here the Kydex actually formed by Mark Irving of Extreme Edge Custom Kydex using officially licensed Kuyu patterns. And these literally match identically to their outerwear. So if you've been looking to really get some knives that completely blend in with your gear, if you're a hunter and looking for a nice quality knife of a number of different sizes, this might be right up your alley. And so here, as we get a good look at these, this is the overall project. So again, we have four knives of each one of the patterns. So here, the Vias, and here, the Verde. And I do want to point out that with these handles, you'll see that these are a very close match, yet at the same time, they're not exact. And that's a very important part of this video, which is the Kuyu patterns, well, they are copyrighted and we cannot infringe on that copyright, which is both the overall colors and also the pattern. So we've done the sort of typical, call it traditional voodoo style here. So a marbled look and just nicely done with colors that are close but not exact. So as we look here at the T17.6, this is the six inch blade with a full cutting edge. You'll see here, full cutting edge all the way from the tip, all the way back to the Ricasso, and here in N690 with a satin finish. Now this is gonna be good and durable, yet at the same time has high quality stainless properties. So if you are gonna use this for hunting and you are potentially gonna get blood on it, this works out very well. But again, going back to the pattern in the handle, you'll see the colors are very close, yet not exact and certainly not in the same pattern. But when you look at these, they do make a nice overall presentation. And especially when you tie it in with the camo it's officially licensed you'll see the color on the kydex just a tiny bit off but it is darn close and that's pretty much because they do make this on a tan kydex so mark irving from extreme edge custom kydex molding the sheath for the t17 uh, he is not the actual manufacturer of the kydex but rather just molds the sheath and here you can see this is the t17.6 in the kuyu verde 
But if you wanted a slightly smaller blade, here you have the T17.5S. So much more compact than the 6. Here you can see here is the size difference. And again, in that Verde pattern using the Voodoo camo pattern there, nicely marbled and beautifully done. And matching that up here with the T17.5S sheath. Now both the dot six and dot five sheath come configured the exact same way. Here you'll see they come outfitted with a matching half inch ferro rod holder. So stock that is included. On the back side here, you do have a blade tech tech lock. But let's just say, well, maybe you want a slightly different mounting hardware solution. We do also offer, and comes with this, a Molly lock from Blade Tech with an adapter plate. So these do fit perfectly, both on the back side of the T17.6 and T17.5 sheaths. So it gives you a little flexibility and versatility. The other thing that you can nicely do if you so choose, you can leave the Blade Tech tech lock mounted you can remove your ferro rod holder and you can mount the molly lock on the front. It gives you either versatile carry options or you can take a molly compatible pouch and mount it on the front of your sheath. Make a little kit, maybe you have a little medical kit, little fire kit, something like that. So it gives you some flexibility and versatility. Here you'll have the T17.4. Here you'll see this is in D2 tool steel with an acid stone wash finish. The nice thing here being it's a little more subdued and it does blend in just a little bit better with those camo patterns. Now in the exact same way you'll see that the handle does not necessarily match entirely with the sheath but again it is darn close. So here you'll see the sheath from the T17.4. Now we have made the dot .4 and dot .3 sheath exactly the same. So as I show you here real quick, this is the T17.3. The main difference between the three and the four is that the three is a slightly smaller blade and more of a three fingered grip where the four is a full four fingered grip. So both of these set up exactly the same in terms of the general features, yet a little bit different in size. And as I started to mention with the sheath, these are both made exactly the same. So here you see the sheath from the dot four, here the dot three. These come with ulti clips, which are excellent for front pocket carry. And on the back, you'll see these do come with a molly lock. So here these are a dots molly lock. These also come with our adapter plate. So you will see here, if you take this adapter plate, slide the sheath. It goes right into place, not too much difficulty, just takes a little bit of practice. This plate can be adapted to the T17.6 or any other larger blade if you wanna make a piggyback ride. So this is spaced to evenly fit right on a bolt pattern, so right into your eyelets and match up nicely. And you can actually ride this as a piggyback solution that when you just want to remove it, simply slides right out not a problem so here you have it this is again the t17.3 and t17.4 sheath both in the kuyu verde pattern and on this side you can see this is the kuyu via so very similar again the t17.6 and five as you look at those together five and four and the four and three options again just pointing out that we cannot exactly match the colors so just the same as the verde well in the vias we also had to be careful because of copyrights and you'll see we make a nice fairly close match but at the same time not at all exact the colors are a little bit off and the pattern is certainly nowhere near the same now on all of these we have opted to use a nice thin white liner just to give it a little flare, a little touch, a little bit of pop, a little bit of style and to set it off with a tang of the knife. And here you'll see looking wonderful in the D2 tool steel and here with the satin finish on the N690. So depending on what you like, you do have a little bit of a different option. Now these particular knives all have been pre-configured ahead of time. So what I'm trying to say is if I have a dot three or a dot four or a dot five here, well, they've already been configured with their sheath. So this is here a package that comes already pre-configured. However, 
These are also going to be available if anybody wants them standalone or with a different sheath color or option. And these sheaths will also be available for any customers who may want this particular pattern. So just because these are today, already made and pre-configured doesn't mean they're not available separately and if there's anything you're interested in here and would like some more information please reach out to me at outerlimitless at gmail.com and just to finalize some subtle details you may have noticed on the smaller knives here the four and three these currently have a sharpened spine i do a lot of firecraft and maybe you want to use this to scrape some bark you know rip on a ferro rod get some nice sparks this certainly has the capability of doing that so a nice 90 degree spine these are available with or without a 90 degree spine and that is the case for all of the models here so you'll notice for example here i have the dot five well the dot five here with the standard spine so that's just a little bit softened so that if you're doing detailed work and pressing down it's not going to hurt your thumb it will still do some scraping. It will still throw sparks, but not nearly as much as the knives with the sharpened spine. That's just purely squared off for that reason specifically. And last but not least, just getting the two patterns side by side so you can see. Here are the Voodoo Kuyu and the sort of Verde pattern, more of the greens. And here are the Voodoo Kuyu and more of that Vias pattern. So just again, color matched but not exactly close enough to make it work but far enough away that it's just being fair to the people at Kuyu and not infringing on their copyright. And so if there's one thing that these knives absolutely have to do, they have to be effective in terms of their overall capability blending in. So whether the Kuyu Vias pattern or Kuyu Verde, well everybody knows that the Kuyu patterns are extremely effective. So here, mixing the Voodoo handle scales with the actual licensed Kuyu Kydex, having a wonderful system here that not only looks great, but blends in, and it is extremely effective in blending in with your overall environment. And so not just reaching out to me on my Gmail, you will notice that these are going to be available on Facebook. These are going to show up in the Kuyu Facebook group for sales of Kuyu gear. And I think people are gonna like these. I hope they take well. I think that the fact of the matter is with products that literally identically match their gear and just play off it so well, having the officially licensed Kydex is a big deal and just looking the part. So you can either reach out to me or keep an eye out. If you wanna see a little further development of this project, you will see it sort of unfolding on the Kuyu Facebook group. So, all right, guys, there you have it. A look at the Voodoo Kuyu lineup of TFK T17s. Now, again, the handles are close in color, but not exact. They're not the exact pattern. They're also not the exact colors for a reason. Again, going back to the fact that the Kuyu patterns, these are officially licensed on the Kydex, yet they're also copyrighted. So I can't use the same colors. I can't use the same patterns. However, we did get it close to try to make a nice matched set. So both in the Vias and the Verde. So depending on your liking right now, we do offer these two patterns in all four sizes of knives. And again, going back to your preference, whether it's the sort of more stainless properties of the N690 or that nice dark finish and the acid stonewash of the D2 and the ability to kind of more blend in just a little bit. Again, both having excellent performance, excellent edge retention, just a great overall selection for general outdoor wilderness, but also processing needs. So depending on your liking, whether you like, you know, sort of more of that sort of, you know, five inch hunting knife, or maybe something a little bit smaller that's gonna be compact and light. You know, if you are like those Kuyu guys, I know you're going deep, you're going to the remote mountains and you may want something just a little bit tighter. So the four, the three, the patterns, and you know, for me, I've always been a big fan of the six inch blade, just loving that full six inch cutting edge on the survival wilderness blade. So a little bit of something for everyone here, Couple different patterns, number of different sizes, and a project that I am very happy to have finally announced.
So, all right, guys, thanks for stopping by. Hope you like what you saw. I hope you found it a little bit informative. If you like what you saw, please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for stopping by. Take care now. I'll see you soon.